a sniper that went unnoticed, unheeded warnings, and missteps by law enforcement. There's a lot about the assassination attempt on Donald Trump that just doesn't add up. On Saturday, former U.S. President Donald Trump stood in front of a crowd of supporters in Butler, Pennsylvania, when a series of cracks were heard through the air. Trump grabbed his ear as he and the crowd ducked down. From there, Trump's security detail ushered him off stage, bleeding, his fist raised to the air. Trump survived an assassination attempt, but his would-be killer didn't. Secret Service shot and killed suspect 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks on the scene. Reuters notes he fired an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle from a nearby roof. Two people were injured and one person died. Investigations into the assassination attempt are ongoing. According to available information, Crooks was a resident of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, and a registered Republican. In 2021, he reportedly donated $15 to Act Blue, a Democratic political action committee. As the BBC notes, he graduated from high school the following year in 2022. His firearm reportedly belonged to his father. Beyond these basic facts, information is scarce, including Crook's motivations. That said, certain things about the assassination attempt stand out as inconsistent. As the New York Post reports, multiple witnesses allege that they saw Crooks on the roof and tried to tell police, who did not act. In a BBC interview, one of these witnesses said that Crooks was visible for several minutes. He added that several attendees were pointing to Crooks and trying to get the attention of the Secret Service. The witness also alleged this about the Secret Service. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. However, the witness also admitted that Crooks probably went unnoticed by the Secret Service because of the slope of the roof where he was laying down. He was behind where they could see. On X, another witness described seeing Crooks on top of one of the buildings. He noted law enforcement was made aware. While human error is a possibility, it does come off as troublesome that members of the crowd report seeing Crooks in the open while Secret Service and local police couldn't. One of the witnesses raised another unusual point about the assassination attempt. This person wrote on X, Why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? Looking at the BBC's picture of the event area, Trump's stage was located in front of three side-by-side -side buildings with sloped triangular roofs. There's another smaller building kitty corner to the stage area, and a larger factory on the other side past some trees. While Crooks took fire from the factory, the furthest of all available roofs, the 400-foot distance between that roof and Trump's stage was certainly within range for an assailant with a rifle to make a fatal shot. ABC News reports that the Secret Service is currently following this exact line of questioning. Crooks, as it turns out, was wearing gray camouflage while remaining as still as possible once in position. The distance at which he fired, meanwhile, is the distance that U.S. Army recruits have to demonstrate capable marksmanship by hitting a human-sized target with an M16, a military weapon comparable to Crooks' AR rifle. And after Crooks fired several shots, the Secret Service counter-sniper team shot and killed him. In other words, it stands to reason that Trump's protective detail could have had a visual of the unguarded roof and range of Trump's stage and taken note of a security threat.